Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor, and today I'm going to share 26 handmade card ideas with you. These cards were made by a variety of Stampin' Up! demonstrators and were swapped on the recent Greek Isles incentive trip that Stampin' Up! hosted. This first one is by Terry Gaines and says, wishing you a beautiful day, great card to send to a friend. What I really like about it is that she kind of curled the petals on this flower and so they're a little dimensional but she put mini dimensionals behind some of those to make sure that they would stay popped up very fun idea Amanda Fowler made this kind of fun graduation hat graduation card that folds open like this super fun this next one is by Belle Harder it's got a cute turtle on it it looks like she colored these in with the Stampin' Blends. And these dots, enamel dots with glitter in them are some of my favorite embellishments. They're flat so you can still mail them. Susan Brummer made this beautiful peacock card. Very shiny. Lori Heiling made this cute camera card. I just love this. And how cute is this little guy? But it's in the shape of a camera. And it looks like she used some different punches because this is the top end of a decorative punch from Stampin' Up. And then it says, congratulations on your next adventure. How cute is that? Lynn Feldkamp made this daisy card. This is with the new medium daisy punch. Great colors on that. Krista Thomas made another camera card. I love this kind of card because it's just flat. It doesn't have any embellishments. It's super easy to mail, and yet it's got a lot of color to it. Karen, I'm not going to be able to pronounce her last name, Mangini, um, made this bird card that is actually, I think they call it an easel card. So the front bends and then kind of sets on the little hello that's in the middle of the card. So here's the card front. Here's the inside. And then the front just folds so that you can display it like that. Very fun. This next one is by Frenchie Martin. And this is the silver edged, silver foil edged note cards that come with envelopes for you. So that's a pretty one. This one is by Anne Cardile. Nice thank you card. I like how you, she stamped the thank you around the outside of the card to kind of frame it. That's a fun idea. Karen Braxton made this one. And what I really like about this card is when you have designer series paper and both sides are pretty and you don't know which side to use, when you use it like this on your card front, you can show off both the front and back side of the designer series paper. So that's a very fun idea. Natalie Travis made this daisy card. Jan Moss made this daisy card. I'm trying to figure out, I like how she cut this at an angle, but I don't know that I would be able to do that in a way that would actually look good. But I like how she did that. Jill Olson made this thank you card. And this is another fun way to show off your double-sided paper because as you can see, this is one side of the paper and then the magnolias is the other side of the paper. Very pretty. Diane Carr did this one with faces and I'm not 100% sure, but I think that she embossed these with white and then colored over the white embossing with the Stampin' Blends. Sandy Carlson made this fun dinosaur card and this is the same Kind of style as this card here where you can see both sides of the pattern paper. Love that. Monica Davis made this precious elephant card and she used the subtle embossing folder. I love this embossing folder because it just gives your cardstock a little bit of texture. This next one is by Ann Brown and these are also note cards that you can get that are pre, um, what do they call it, laser die cut. So she just put a piece of colored cardstock behind it to make that lace really pop out. And then that has a matching envelope with it as well. That's a little bit fancy. These hummingbirds are actually from a designer series paper. 
Marie Ressler made this super fun card. It's a slider card with the turtle, so the turtle can kind of <laughs> slide around. And I love the googly eye. Patty Chanel made a Christmas card. Are we ready for Christmas? Christmas in July, they say. This next one is by Lisa Miltakis. Super adorable walrus. And I don't tend to use these um, embellishments here because they're so thick and sometimes they're harder to mail, but this shirt is super cute with this walrus. I really like this design. Wendy Lee made this pretty flower card. Actually, my daughter saw this card and she said, this looks like something that you would make. Donna Melcher made another pretty flower card. Esther Boyle made this fun fold, which I'm not sure how she did it, but it looks very complicated to me. So I'm not sure if you can tell. It's like she cut out this part and then they're scoring. So this is how it looks. It looks like the sailboats are kind of sailing. And then you flip it open like that. Fancy. And then Sandy Reese made, this is, I think, one of my favorites in the bunch. Super adorable dinosaur. And this is a different kind of slider card where if I pull on this, the dinosaur moves and it gives you a little secret message. Super fun for the kids, I think. And then finally, here is the card that I made. It's a simple one because you know I like simple cards. But what's not simple about it is that for some reason, I was crazy and cut these out by hand. I never cut out by hand, so I don't know what I was thinking. But this seahorse is super cute and it doesn't have a die. And so I cut all of those out by hand. But it's a really easy card and the kind that I like because no embellishments, super easy to pop in an envelope and mail to a friend. So I hope that you loved all of these ideas. As you're watching this video, if you had any questions about any of the cards or how they were made, um, please just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer those for you. Thanks for watching and happy stamping.